In this session, we're going to have a look at how to use an import map to bring data quickly and easily into CRM Haven. Now an import map is exactly the same as an export map. It's just a CSV file, a comma separated value file that you can use to translate the headers or the data in your spreadsheet uh, should it come from another system. Now normally you won't need to use an import or an export map because you'll just be using the uh, the standard headers that, that, that come in CRM Haven. So you can see here's the import file that we used before with the correct CRM, CRM Haven uh, headings across the top there. But should you in fact uh, bring in systems from, from regularly uh, uh, information from other systems then you may find that you actually could really use uh, an import map. If we didn't use an import map then each time we brought in the new spreadsheet whether it's from the web or some other uh, system like uh, Microsoft CRM Haven then we would have the problem of, of having to change the headers up the top every time based on the import data. The second thing is that not only are sometimes the headers different from one another, but often the data is different. It could well be that the salutation that, that you bring in uh, is in abbreviated format like DR for doctor and we, want, we would want the salutation translated uh, to the full name or maybe in reverse. Uh, some systems use pick lists, so they use numbers uh, for values for things like countries, for counties, for states, things like that. Uh, whereas we use the uh, full text uh, in this system here. The import map will help you translate, define and translate that data as it's coming in to CRM Haven. Okay, so let's have a look at a, at a sample map. This map here has got lots of different information in there translating many, many different things. If you have a comment line, if you want to comment something out, just put two slashes at the very start of, of that line. Another thing you'll notice is that we have the first line has got some headers. Now, it ignores that first line, so you can put whatever text value you want into there. And you'll also notice that we've only got four columns here. The four columns, the first two define the actual field, the translation of the field names, and the second two columns define the translation of the field values. So, here we, in the very first column, we put the field name, that, like the header, uh, as per uh, what CRM Haven can accept, and in column number two, we put uh, how it's coming in to uh, the uh, database how it's being imported from the external system. We put its uh, header there so it'll translate between the two. When we do an export it'll actually do the reverse. It'll take the uh, CRM Haven label and instead in the spreadsheet go off and put the um, the exported, uh, well in this case the, the imported name as the header. Same thing with the value we can go and put in a uh, the CRM Haven value on the left and put the imported value or export of value on the right hand side. Okay, so how does that work? First of all, we may want to look at things just like uh, the changing a label or saving as having to retype a label. So in this circumstance, the, uh, the, the spreadsheet coming in uses the heading address one line one, address one line two, address one city as its heading label. We can set it up so that whenever it sees that as the header it automatically translate it to, translates that header as client address one, two and, uh, and the client city as CRM Haven understands. If we, uh, there's no point in putting any values in there because the value itself is correct. We don't want to change the actual text values uh, that are appearing. Secondly, if we had a pick list, so in this circumstance, okay, we have the translation for the salutation here, but uh, the system coming in uses a number to store the value instead of the actual name. So in this circumstance, what it's going to do is uh, when it goes to import, the salutation, it's going to look up the label, this one CCX underscore salutation pick list. It's going to put the correct header in, uh, which, which Serum Haven understands, which is salutation. If the value coming in is a value number one, it's going to translate it to the word Mr. 
you can change whatever text you want it to be here uh, and you can build up this file as you need. So what it means is if we come back to CRM Haven here and we'll go import we can, instead of just importing a straight spreadsheet we can go choose an import map so I'll choose the map there so now it knows that when it imports this file it's going to look at the header value translate the headers uh, if there's a, a corresponding value that needs to be changed it'll change that value as well secondly if we come down here and go export we can choose and export the same export map no difference at all and so now when we go to do the export it's going to use the field map to export the headers and the field values out as well when we do that export so it's it w is really designed to save a huge amount of time every if you regularly have to bring in spreadsheets uh, from other sources without having to go through the pain of changing their header information uh, or their data information you can change it very quickly uh, you can copy around the field maps if you want the import export maps uh, add to as many people as you want just make sure that they've got the latest up-to-date version and people can be bring in the data um, uh, uh, in the most correct format okay so that's how we use uh, import and export maps I, I hope you find them useful thank you goodbye <laughs>